Hi parents, Miss Amy here with a Monday morning minute. I maybe should have called it a Monday morning moment because I don't know if I can condense this all into one minute, but I'm gonna try. So I wanted to just take a moment each Monday to meet with you specifically for a couple of reasons. One, to check in and just let you know that I'm thinking of you and I hope you're doing well in this new and uncharted season of suddenly becoming a homeschool teacher. I wanted to encourage you that your number one role is to be mom or dad or child caregiver. And that yes, we do wanna keep some learning happening. We wanna engage the children in a meaningful way, but don't put too much pressure on yourselves, please. And then I thought maybe once a week, I could give you a little tool that you can use, something that we do at school that works really well that you can incorporate into your home easily. And so today I wanna to teach you about the Bring Me Game. Now, if you are watching and you have a child who attends PCMA, you, when you say the word Bring Me Game, your child is gonna know what you mean and hopefully be really excited to play. I know it's something that the children love here at school. If you are not affiliated with Peaceful Child Montessori Academy, this is something you can do without any training, without any Montessori materials, um, and then you can teach your child what the Bring Me Game is. And so, a couple of things. First of all, the Bring Me Game is a really great way to reinforce something that your child is learning or has learned. It's not meant to be a teaching moment, and so you want to really draw on what your child already knows. Number two, the Bring Me Game is a way to work with a child's need to move their body and not against it. So sometimes children just have energy. They just need to move. And we forget that because we often don't feel that as adults. And so in the Montessori culture, we really try to always work with the children and not against them. And so when I notice that one of my students really needs to move their body, I introduce and invite the bring me game. So another thought is the invitation. So we know that people and children especially, we like to have a choice. We like to have an option. And so the invitation matters. The way you invite your child to play the bring me game matters versus insisting or telling that we are going to play this game now. Maybe an invitation that is enticing and exciting would allow them to have some choice. And I have found as a parent and as a teacher that anytime a child participates with me based on their choice, it changes the dynamic of that interaction. And so you're going to want to invite your child. I have an idea. Do you want to play the bring me game? Now, if your child again attends PCMA, they're going to know what that means. And if not, you're going to explain it. This is a great way to build in a couple of things for you as a parent or caregiver. First, build in some interaction with your child that is purposeful and intentional. Second, build in some opportunity for your child to go and then come back. If you are working from home, this is super necessary. Um, but if you're even just doing laundry or trying to prepare your 5,000th snack of the day, this matters because I know that we too need a little bit of space. And when the children want our attention, um, it can be hard to create that space. So this creates some really intentional, you have my full attention and some, now you're going away for a time but then you're gonna come back and have my full attention again. And the children really enjoy it. So here's what you will need for the bring me game. You will need some sort of a container. I have just brought this basket um, because it's kind of a good medium size, but find something in your home that's a container and this will sort of limit the size of what your child is going to bring you. So for example, if you are going to use letter sounds as your theme and you say, bring me something, that starts with a v. They won't bring you the vacuum because it doesn't fit in this basket. So choose something. 
And then you're gonna want um, a towel or a mat or some place for them to set all of what they bring you because we're gonna create a collection. So I have just used a dish towel for this purpose. In our classroom, we use rugs. Um, and if you have a, a small for a rug, that would work perfectly too. So a container and a place, this will go on the floor near you and you decide how near you want that to be. If you're on a conference call, maybe you wanna put it a couple feet away so you can see and check in, but they're not in your space. If you're folding laundry and you want them coming near so you can give them a, a kiss or a snuggle every time, put it close by. So the next thing you're gonna do is choose what they're going to bring you. A couple of ideas. If you have a very young child, maybe colors. Bring me something red. If you have a child that's starting to learn shapes, maybe you could use two-dimensional shapes. PCMA kids, you could use geometric shapes like a sphere or a cube, or a cone. Maybe you could use letter sounds. So for the purpose of today's lesson, that's what I'm going to show you. Letter sounds are a great way to reinforce what those letter sounds do, their purpose. Um, maybe you could use some science concepts like, bring me something heavy. Now bring me something light. Bring me something rough. Now bring me something smooth. And you can get as creative as you want. So here's how this goes. You're going to invite, entice, woo your child to the bring me game when it's the right time. Your child isn't already busy and purposefully engaged. Your child is wanting some one-on-one -on -one connection with you, but you've really got to get that email out. This is a good time. Hey, do you want to play the bring me game? Once they agree, you're going to collect your um, materials, a basket, and a dish towel works just fine. And then this is the fun part. This is that one-on-one. -on -one. You're going to whisper in their ear what you want them to bring you. So if you are using letter sounds, that will be my example for today, you might say, okay, now come here and then whisper, bring me something that starts with mmm. Okay, go, go find it. You might wanna designate an area that is off limits for them or designate an area that is far away from your workspace. Oh, they have to move. They have to remember. Don't be surprised if they come back and ask for a reminder. They're thinking, thinking, what am I looking for? Something that starts with mmm, mmm, mmm. They're gonna find that object, put it in their basket and bring it back to you. And you get to receive it with so much joy. You get to say, oh, you brought me a marker. I hear mmm when I say marker. Okay. Put it on your mat or your towel or your rug, whatever you've chosen, and then send them off for another thing that begins with mmm. So they're building a collection. If you're doing colors, maybe change the color. Um, so you can see how you can play with this and change the duration and the, the difficulty for sure. Once you see that interest is starting to wane, that engagement is dying down, then you're gonna wanna wrap it up. Don't just quit the game, wrap it up. So maybe you start to see they're kinda not as interested. And so let's come back to our collection. Let's look at what did we find? You might be able to regenerate that interest. Let's list everything we found. Can we? group it out? Can we sort it? Which things are big? Which things are small? Can we make a list of what we found? If you have an older child who's writing, this is great. Bring in that extension of writing. Can you write a list of all the things you found? If your child is younger and not writing yet, can you draw a picture of all the things you found? And that just gave me another idea. If you have a child that's reading, you could give them a list simple things that they can read, send them on a shopping trip or a scavenger hunt. Go find these items and bring them to me. 
So I hope you kind of get the idea that the bring me game, it sort of involves some movement. It involves some memory. It involves some connecting as you're whispering and maybe you want to steal a little kiss in that moment. We don't steal kisses here at school, but that's something you can do as a mom or a dad or a caregiver. It creates some space for you. Now they're going to go and search and then you have a minute to finish the email or help the older sibling with some more challenging work or sip your cup of tea and take a deep breath. So the bring me game. I hope that you find ways to fold this into your time at home with your children. You can use it just whenever you notice that my child needs something purposeful, something fun, and a way to bring in some reinforced learning. So that's our Monday morning minute. I can see that it was definitely not a minute, and I'm so sorry. We'll call it a Monday morning moment. I hope you will come back and join us live at 11 for our time, our line time. We have some fun things to do, and I will see you next week with another Monday morning moment. Thanks. Bye, guys.